Hi there. My name is Ron Robertson. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Picmonic. And as a former medical student, I know firsthand how difficult it is to learn and retain complex information. There's simply too much of it and not enough time. And we're not just talking about learning to pass exams. We're talking about learning to become competent healthcare providers. So we started to turn to the neuroscience behind memory and learning and found out that if you take information and make it more sensory, you make it visual, you make it auditory, you make it emotion eliciting, that you'll actually remember it better. So that's exactly what we started to do. We took thousands of key facts and topics and concepts and turned them into characters and stories or picture mnemonics, picmonics. Now, I know it sounds a little crazy to be learning with cartoons. However, Picmonic is research proven to increase long-term memory retention by over 300% and increase test scores by over 50%. There's been 300,000 plus students who've used Picmonic in the last few years to improve courses, board exams, and ultimately become more successful in their clinical practice. So I'm gonna pass this over to Marley who's gonna dive a little bit deeper into the science behind Picmonic. Picmonic is a powerful multi-sensory learning platform designed for the development of long-lasting memories for all types of learners. And to do this, we leverage memory science. So, let's talk about memory. The formation of memory actually has three components. We encode information, we store it, and then later we retrieve that information. So encoding, the first part of the process, all starts with our senses. So you really want to engage these senses and get them heightened when you're learning and you're studying. Now the brain actually processes information coming in through these senses in very different ways. And we'll talk about that with three memory phenomena that Picmonic utilizes in our product. So number one is dual coding theory. And this states that we process verbal and nonverbal information in different channels in our brain. So as an example, when I see a picture of a circle, that's gonna be processed and remembered differently than when I hear the word circle. So to form a really strong memory, you wanna use these channels in conjunction rather than individually. So I wanna see a picture of a circle while I hear the word circle. Number two is picture superiority effect. And this says that we remember images better than we remember text. Because text to the brain is boring and it's hard to decode and it's dull, but when the brain sees an image, it lights up and it gets excited. So if you can attach an abstract concept to an image, that's gonna provide you with a memory anchor and it'll be way easier for you to recall later on. And then finally, number three is von Ristorff effect. And this says that we remember things that stand out. We remember weird things. So if I have a list of four viruses that I have to remember and three are very similar, but one is different, then I'm more likely to remember that different one. Picmonic uses these memory phenomena to provide students with memory anchors, turning all the information they need to remember into crazy characters and then tying it all together into a story. Now let's talk about the third part of the memory formation process, retrieval. I'm sure you're all aware of how ineffective passive learning is. And that's why we not only offer students the ability to add their own reference pictures, notes, and characters, but we also have our quiz feature. Now here's the thing, as soon as we learn about information, we begin to forget it. And this happens very quickly. And this is what's called the forgetting curve. So to make a long-term memory, students should be reviewing their information spaced out over increasing intervals of time. The result from this is that every time that student reviews the information, the slope of the curve will become less and less until it's eventually stored as a long-term memory. And that's why Picmonic has incorporated space repetition algorithms into our learning system. So based on the progress from the students' quizzes, they're gonna be teed up with what they need to review when they need to review it. 